who is the greatest physicist of all time? No, let me correct this statement first. Who is the physicist who, individually speaking, brought up the most contributions to the world of physics? I would like to mention here that I find it kind of absurd to try to rank physicists as biggest or greatest or whatsoever simply because I believe any scientist in general simply brings up his minute contribution to complete progressively the architecture of something way bigger. Now, talking of contributions, it makes absolute sense to try to point out those physicists, those chemists, those mathematicians, those biologists, or those scientists in general who brought up the most contributions to any field or any domain of science. As far as physics is concerned, there have been a lot of debates and arguments on this subject. Personally, I have gone through tons of documents, articles, books, biographies, scientific papers, and it appears to me that there are five physicists who clearly stand out of the small group of game changers in this field, taking into account globally their contributions to the field of physics and the impact of their works on this domain, on this subject. We have Max Planck, Galileo Galilei, Sir Isaac Newton, James Clark Maxwell, and Albert Einstein. Let's start with Max Planck. He introduced the theory of the quanta by forwarding that electromagnetic radiation was emitted in packs or quanta of energies. Later, this idea he used it to solve the ultraviolet catastrophe and came out with a formula that enables us to calculate accurately the energy radiated by a black body. His works also completely revolutionized our understanding of atomic and subatomic processes. Today, he is considered as the father of quantum mechanics. Galileo Galilei He constructed his own telescope which enabled him to magnify distant objects and this led him to make important discoveries such as the four moons of Jupiter, sunspots, he observed craters on the lunar surface and so on. He carried out multiple experiments on freely falling bodies at the Pisa Tour and forwarded that all bodies fall with the same acceleration. Later, this became formulated in the equivalence principle. Albert Einstein He forwarded the quantum theory of light which stipulates that light travels in the form of photons and he used this idea to explain the concept of photoelectricity. He made important contributions to Brownian motion. Also, he developed the theories of spatial and general relativity. Lastly, he brought out a formula which is of unavoidable use in nuclear physics, the famous delta E equals delta M C squared. James Clark Maxwell he combined all known ideas of electricity and magnetism into a set of four equations which form the foundation of classical electromagnetism. They are famously known as Maxwell's equations. He, he unified electromagnetism with light by finding that both light and electromagnetic waves propagate at the same speed, the speed of causality. Also, he provided accurate explanations to the stability of Saturn's rings. Lastly, he came out with the Maxwell distribution, which describes the distribution of gas particles at a given temperature. Lastly, Sir Isaac Newton. He developed the laws of motion. He founded the law of universal gravitation, which described the interaction of the heavenly bodies. He revolutionized the world of optics by showing that white light was composed of components that could be separated by a glass prism. Today, he is considered as the father of modern physics. So, if I had to further shrink this list to a single person, it will be none other than Sir Isaac Newton. Newton had this ability not just to have brilliant ideas and perspective about 
the world around him, but also to see the connections me. between observable phenomena that occur in the universe. And for this, I will choose him. Now, I know there will be a lot of disagreements about my list. There's absolutely no problem. I know many are going to mention people like Paul Dirac, Heisenberg, uh, Richard Feynman, uh, and so on and so forth. There's absolutely no problem. Feel free to approve, to disapprove, to comment in the list below and give me your top five, by the way. Lastly, I think it's very important to appreciate and contemplate the work of our predecessors but most importantly we have to be able to inspire ourselves from what they have done and try to do to push things further because in the 21st century that's clearly what we are up to with a lot of challenges in the field and a lot to do we really need to go a step further i'll end this video with a famous quote from sir isaac newton and he said if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. So I think you know what you are left to do.